Hi and welcome to Make It Mug Up. My name is Leanne. This is my bunny corn. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I've got, let's do, a, let's just go wild and let's do a crazy look. Um, I have, uh, Mr. Mug gave me something yesterday and um, there's a, there's a little pink box down there that you can see right there. He bought me like one of those mini Frigidaires for my skincare. And so we're going to rearrange my my makeup room and my vanity today to to install her, plug her in, uh, and find a place on the vanity for my little Frigidaire. And so um, I, in that order, he had to, it's from Walmart. I think it was like $32. Not too bad, right? Um, anyway, so in that order, he had to get up, I think, to like, I don't know if it was, I don't know what he had to get up to, a certain amount for free shipping. And you know us, we have to get the free shipping. So he put... He put a lipstick in the order. This is the Black Radiance, which is owned by uh, Marquins, which is Wet n Wild. Uh, it's a purple metallic lipstick. This is this is stunningly gorgeous. This is uh, Purple Rains, and we're gonna we're gonna wear her today. So then I have been reading a comment over and over again from Makeup with Leanne. She's on Instagram. And uh, she, so go follow her. I tagged her in yesterday's video. I'll tag her again down below so you can go find her Instagram. Um, she is my sister from another mister. She lives in Tennessee, so slightly west of where I live. And she has been asking for purple brows. So we're going to do purple brows, purple lips. We're going all out this morning. And so um, let's do it. I did want to mention one other thing that um, on my toenails, is a beautiful color that I wanted to share with you. This is one of, this is my favorite nail polish brand. Uh, this is Pop. It is on Etsy. She makes them in New York. And this is called Surf Slick, this shade. Um, but it is just, it's everything you think it is. It's this, this amazing like ocean oil slick. That's what the color is. It's stunningly gorgeous. It's on my toes and I love it. I'm ready. We're super ready for springy, summery colors and all that. So um, let's do full face. I've also pulled some other stuff um, and I got some new stuff. I got my boxy base yesterday. So I got a couple of items in the boxy base that I want to try out. So we're just going to, today is Sunday. Y'all know we go froggy on the weekends because we can. We don't, we don't, we're not on camera when nobody cares. Let's get this mop behind us. It's dry, but it's not done, done. I'll, we'll do it later. Um, ugh, I do my hair once a week, meaning apply some sort of heat tool, either curl it, straighten it, crimp it, whatever. Slap it up, flip it, you know. And we will we'll do that later today. Okay, so let's let's do some makeup. Um, I'll use the Kopari Starry Eye Balm underneath my eyes. It's 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 like getting it's it's weird. I, there's some parts of it that are like a little chunky, and uh, I don't know what's going on with that. But we're gonna we're gonna use it and hope for the best here. It melts down when you touch it. Like it's a it's an interesting thing. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I, the lashes that I wore yesterday that I'd worn so many times, I actually had to throw them away last night. R.I.P. So we sang Amazing Grace, and uh, they got they went to their to their grave in the bathroom trash can. So if we wear lashes today, I'll have to pull another pair. Just just letting you know that we may be doing that today too. Okay, for primer, check her out. I got the Icy Sherbert Primer for Touch and Soul. It is a Korean brand. It came in my boxy charm. It was my choice item for this month. I love Touch and Soul products. This is the, do you see how it looks like, like beach glass? Mr. Mugwump says it looks like a gummy bear. <laughs> um, so this is the, let's use this as primer today. I don't know, I don't know. It is cold, which is great. Gosh, it's cold. Is it supposed to be, is it like a chilling one? Y'all, I get these products, I don't know anything about them. Oh, it's cold. It feels wonderful. I probably got too much. I think I did. I got a little bit too much. Oh, it feels nice. 
gosh, that feels nice. Is it supposed to be like chilling? I'm so excited if that's true. I just took what was in the lid. I really hope that's true because that would be awesome if it's supposed to be cold. I mean, it was cold, but my room's not that cold. Shut up. Okay. So let's, uh, it's in Korean on the back, so I don't know. So there's that beautiful packaging. It's 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 a gorgeous product. I'm super excited to have that because every touch and soul product that I've gotten, I've liked. So there's the primer. I don't know that it did anything like, you know, it might be pore filling. Is it? Maybe. My poor nose, y'all. Okay. All right. The other thing I pulled is actually another primer. This is the Milk Makeup Luminous Blur Stick. And I thought that we would try her real quick to see if she gives some, you know, luminosity. And I'm pretty sure she does. I got, I think I got this in a box a while back too. Apparently I have luminous primers and I, I I went to the primer drawer the other day and I found all my luminous primers. Okay, so there's the there's the blur stick from Milk. It is it, it's not quite Tin Man, but we're getting close. Um, so I like that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Okay. Itching. Okay. Let's Ooh, I didn't even think about what foundation to use today? Hmm. Should we use a new one? Or one that we haven't used in a hot minute? Hmm. Let's go to the back of the drawer. You know, this is what I wanted to try as a foundation. I bought it to try it as a concealer. And I haven't, I don't think I've ever tried it as a foundation. This is the CoverGirl and Olay Simply Ages Foundation in Ivory. It's like the little hockey puck and there's a swirl. You know, I've never tried it as a foundation, so let's do it today. We ain't got nothing to lose. I don't have a new foundation right now. But my Sephora order shipped, my Ulta order shipped, and we are looking good, God Almighty. I did not expect that coverage. What in the world? I literally bought this because Tara Baby used this as a concealer because of the Olay in it, you know, and it's really, really hydrating, and it is, and I like it as a concealer. I did not even think to use it as a foundation. I mean, it is a foundation, but I didn't know it was like this kind. Okay, so now we've learned something new today. I'm going to go over with a sponge. I think I've gotten... A little too much in some places and not enough in others. So we got to redistribute the wealth. Y'all, that looks really good. <laughs> oh. oh, when I was in my primer drawer, y'all. I saw the Nivea Men's Aftershave. Do you remember when that was a thing on YouTube? If you weren't on YouTube at the time, you probably don't know what I'm talking about. There was a whole craze. And I'm thinking that I want to try it again. It's in the drawer. I'm so excited. I guess, was it Nikki Tutorials? I think that, I don't know if she started it, but she like made it a thing, a viral thing. And uh, I have some. We, we probably won't try let's try that again six years later whatever it is <laughs> y'all this is really pretty i don't know how long it'll you know how long it'll last and all that but this is actually quite pretty and the color is quite good I'm like that's pretty good well there you go i mean who knew to try that an actual foundation as a foundation who knew not me not not me is what I'm saying. Here's that. That looks really pretty. I'm such an idiot. Man, I'm crazy. 
Okay, I don't have any new concealers. Let's use the Undone. I'm really enjoying this, like, a lot, a lot. And I'm just mixing the medium and the, the full, like I just go between the two and get enough of both to make a thing and then make a thing, get enough for my under eye and then looks nice, right? Lasts all day. It, there, I mean, there's some crease. I have creasy under eyes. Like, I've got folds. It's the anatomy of my face. And so, it's always going, everything's always going to crease. But after I, like, get it powdered and out of my crease, then it, that's what I mean. Is that it, it doesn't crease more. It doesn't look crazy or crepey or anything else. It looks pretty good. Okay. I love this product. I think it's on sale for eight bucks at Ulta right now, which is awesome. All right, let's prime eyelids with the Ulta Nude Eye Primer. I'm trying to get it off of the sides of this thing so this, this poor little container looks less crazy. But you, you need so little of this product because it is so good that I don't... I'm just... It's slow going to clean up the sides. <laughs> yes, I could actually go in there and clean up the sides with a wipe or a spatula, but that requires more effort. I would like to slowly do it with my brush every day for the next six months. So don't judge. I'm doing it. It's just taking longer. There's the... <laughs> There's that. It looks amazing. Who knew? I'm so surprised. SPF 28. There we are. There we are. I don't know why y'all come here to watch me do makeup. I, I'm an idiot. Like, I don't, I don't even think. Okay. Do we want, like, cream bronzer and all that? No, let's not. Uh, let's powder. Oh, I repressed the big boy, the Makeup Revolution concealer. I repressed her last night. So let's talk how I did that, just in case you ha have not done that before. I'll tell you how I do it. Um, also, under eyes, I think I'm gonna go uh, Tatcha Silk powder. So we'll we'll powder while I talk about it. So I take um, something, and it it like so the powder that I I want to repress, whatever it is, and it could be an eyeshadow, a blush, a bronzer. It's a powder product that I want to repress. So I'll take it and I crush it. And it depends on the container that I'm repressing it back into and how much product I have. If I have a whole lot of product that I need to repress, like let's say something shattered and I wanna like remove it all from the pan and then I want to um, press it back into the pan, but there's a lot of it. I, I, then I need like a small, a small bowl and, um, you know, those tiny bowls that you have in, in your set in your kitchen that nobody uses for anything, but like ketchup to dip in, go grab one of those bowls. That's the kind that I use, um, to, to repress in, um, for something that I have a lot of, but like this powder here, I, there was hardly any in the pan left. So I just used the pan itself to mix. Like I didn't, I didn't dump it out and put it anywhere else. I just crushed it inside the pan I use a couple of things to crush. One is the tail end of a, a pair of tweezers. I say pair. Are they a pair? Tweezers. I use the tail end. Or the the handle of a brush, like a smaller eyeshadow brush, depending on, you know, what I've got to crush. So I crush it up into a powder. And then, then I take, look, we're almost done. Um, I take that powder, um, not take it, I put... Alcohol, rubbing alcohol, isopropyl alcohol. And I put some into the pan or into the bowl where I'm making my concoction. And I mix it into a paste. And if you get too much alcohol, it's okay. If you get not enough alcohol, spray a little bit more. And you make just make a paste. And you, you smooth out the paste as best you can um, with either the back of the tweezers, which is what I was using last night, um, or, um, you know, you can use 
the, anything really like one of the little beauty spatulas or what like and you, you can use any kind of tool to do this <clears throat> and then you take a paper towel fold it and press down on the paste and really really press get all the way around the corners what you're doing is soaking up the excess alcohol and then it it leaves the 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 kind of slightly drier paste and then I leave the compact or whatever it is out overnight and by morning, I did this last night at like 10 o'clock at night. And by morning, 12 hours later, it is dry and ready to use again. And I can get to it. I was having a hard time getting to it because it was on the rim. And I couldn't get to the actual powder. It, so now I've, I've repressed it into the center of the pan. Now I can reach it. Super easy. And all you need is some sort of tool. And you probably have, you could use anything. I mean, you can use a butter knife, you can use anything. And then just alcohol, that's all I use. Some people repress things using other like glycerin or some, I don't, I just use alcohol because the reason why I'm repressing most things is because it's almost done. And I'm just trying to get the product into the center of the pan so that I can reach it. That's 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 what I do, there you go. Repressing 101 with Leanne. Um, all right, my bronzer I'm going to use again is the Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Bronzer in, what is it called? Ready to go. With my very favorite brush in the whole wide world, this is a Sonia Kashuk bronzing brush. I love you so much. It's beautiful. This is such a pretty bronzer. It, there is a sheen to it. It's a baked product and it's, it, there's a sheen to it. It is just so, I mean, it's almost, it's just natural and beautiful. I love this bronzer. This is one of my favorite bronzers of all time. I need to do like a bronzer collection video. I know. And I also need to do, I need to do a lot of things. Let's do hard candy, uh, Fox in a Box, Girl Next Door. This is, it's still out from the other day. I need to go put it back, but this is one of the products that brings me joy in my in my makeup collection because my mom gave it to me it's just a glowy super pink super fun blush i love blush it's one of my favorite things and i have a blush tag video it's really old on my channel so go search you can search my channel for the blush tag video this is the the um the blush that won for party blush i know that's a silly it seems like a silly category but it is if i'm going if i want to be really cute having a good time party blush it, this is it like look at it beautiful it's beautiful okay here's another product from my boxy charm this is the kinder glow highlight palette this is made in ireland I, you know who knew um it's cruelty free vegan and this is what she looks like it's got a mirror and a little lid and a little four pack here um these two were too dark for me these two, this is really, really gold. I'm going to try her today. I've swatched it a bunch of times because it's this weird marbly thing. Um, but yeah, we'll try her. I'm already glowy from the blush and everything else, but we'll, we'll give her, yep, that's, that's nice. Um, my fan brush barely fits into the pan. These are pretty small, but not too small. If you, if you used a regular, like a, you know, how some people use like a, like a real technique setting brush or whatever, it'll fit. It, that's that's quite highlighty. Cool. Okay, there's that. Thank you, Boxy. Let's bling. And then we're going to do my brows for Leanne today. This is literally, I'm doing this for a person who said you should do purple brows. So here we go. I know that Kat Von D made a brow pomade in purple. And Leanne, I tried to find it. It is, it's like nowhere. So, um, I'm going to just use an eye liner that is purple. And I'm doing a purple brow for you, sis. Because you are awesome. <laughs> yes! We having fun yet? How fun. I never, I mean, I've never 
thought to use an eyeliner as an, I mean, I guess it makes sense to me. This is very creamy. So I'm having to like be careful not to press down too much. This is the LA Girl Shockwave Neon Eyeliner in, in whatever it's called, the purple one. Vivid is the name. But she's really creamy. Yeah, there we go. There you go, Leanne. Do you love it? <laughs> okay, let me find a spoolie that I don't care much about. Let's see here. Is there a spoolie up here? Hang on. Y'all hold on. Yeah, hang on. Let's do a little bit of spoolie in real quick. Just a... There we go. Just a little bit. I am sure that there are purple brow product, products besides Kat Von D. That was the one that I thought of. That I was like, oh, I know. You know she had it was and it was a bright purple. She had like an aubergine color, which was like kind of brownie purple. But then she had like a royal purple, like this color. And so I was like, well, let me go find that and get it. But mm -mm, I'll choose this. There you go. Here you go. Let's spray. Things I do for y'all. It's makeup. It washes off. We're good. Got a lot on that spray. So I thought for today's eye look, well, I didn't think. Mr. Mugwump said, if you're wearing purple lips and purple brows, you should do a pink eye. That's what he says. So I'm going to do a pink eye for Mr. Mugwump today. And the palette that I pulled is a Viseart palette that I got in BoxyCharm forever ago. This is the Boheme Dream, and we're gonna we're gonna go we're gonna go the pinks there. In this palette, she came. This palette came damaged, but it wasn't too bad. I mean, I kept it. Um, but this is back when. When BoxyCharm was shipping out Viseart palettes, like with no nothing on it, like this shade here is what that that came damaged. Um, but like they were shipping it out with like no protection, no bubble wrap. They just threw stuff in a. You remember this? It was terrible um, because we like we the people who buy from BoxyCharm pop up and all that. It was like we we got the products, but they were some of them were like completely destroyed. Like some of them, like there was no shadow left when they got to the person's home. And it was terrible. It was, I felt so bad for folks because it was <laughs> it's like, you get, you purchase this product, you get this product. And like, this was, I think 12 bucks or $9, like ridiculously good prices. But then because of the way they shipped it, they ruined the product and you can't use it. Like it, after, you know, if you, they destroyed the whole thing, it's, it's unusable. So you got this great sale and then when you get it, they're like, oh, we'll refund you. Thanks. I'd rather have the palette for the 12 bucks that, you know, I thought I was going to get. BoxyCharm. They've done a lot better with, sh with shipping and packaging lately. Like a lot better. Okay, I'm going to color switch my brushes real quick because we're about to go ham on some pink. All right. This is going to be uh, a, a neutral, work-appropriate look. So <laughs> prepare yourself. All right, I'm gonna take this middle pink here. I mean, I think this is like crazy. It is, okay, good. Um, this is super shimmery and I am here for it today. So we're gonna go full on unicorn dreams. That's what, I mean, that's literally what we're doing today. So sit back and enjoy yourself. Brows do work, Leanne. You're right. I mean, they work. I have, I mean, there. I have friends who, when they do their, when they they dye their hair a fashion color, they also dye their brows that color. You know what I mean? Like, I love that look. I think it's so pretty. I just have never considered it for myself. I, there's, there's a lot of things that are like that. Like, I see something on someone else, and I'm like, that is so pretty. But I've never thought, well, let me do it. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Some of that I think comes from childhood I don't know let's not get deep today it's Sunday let's just stay froggy and fun okay there's a really light shimmery pink 
Shall we put a little bit of her above this pink? Oh yeah, let's ice this baby out. Yes, yes. Okay, now we'll blend that. We are just, oh yes. Oh yeah. We're going for it, kids. We are going for it. Mm-hmm. All right, on the lid, I'm gonna use this darker, it's like a pinky purpley color. It's, I mean, it's still, it's, she's still pink, y'all, but there's a little bit more purple in her. We'll just do like a gradient up. That's what, it's very simple today. Not anything sophisticated in the, the design of this look. This sedimentary rock is what I'm calling this look. Where you just put the colors on you. <laughs> in layers. <laughs> That's it. That's all. But it is a gradient. I mean, that's that's the fun thing. It's a gradient. Okay. How fun are we? Super fun. Super fun. Okay, I'm going to put the super light pink in the inner corner. In our cavern, really. Yeah. I mean, do I look sick? That's the goal. To look sickly. In our pink eyeshadow. Well, that's fun. Okay, I think I want to cover it. Not cover it, but I think I want to add. Do I want to add a glitter? I've got, like, really pretty pink glitters. Like this one. I think I want to add a pink glitter. This is the color pop. It's like a glitter pack that they... Let's do, a, let's do a little bit of glitter here. Just gild this lily because we can. I'm just a little bit on my finger and I'm just going to tap. Just a little bit. Just enough to catch the light. That's really pretty. Yep. Yep. Sorry, my glitter palette lives over there. All right. I look amazing. I don't know who you are and what you think, but I look amazing. Okay. Should I do... I don't know that I want to actually do eyeliner. But... But do I? I don't think I do. I mean, okay, I kind of do, but let's do something. Okay, I think I know. I think I now know what I want to do. I think I want to do. Let's clean off the brush on my hand. I don't know why I was doing that because I have a washcloth right here. Let's do. I know what I want to do. Let's do a blue eyeliner because I've got some blue mascara. I love blue, like cobalt blue and pink together. I love that color combination a lot. All right, let's, and I just used the blue, I just used the blue in the palette, like this blue right here. There you go. There you go. Let's curl eyelashes. And I think I'm going to use the telescopic waterproof. 
And then this mascara. This is AOA Studios Wisp Mascara. It's the blue color. I had it in green last year, and then I, I bought it in green and blue on the same day. They were, they were a dollar. But I had... It's not perfect. And so, actually, this is one of the products that I actually wrote to the brand and said, I recommend that you do this thing. Like, I gave them feedback, which I never do unless, like, it's an actual thing. And um, it's it's the spacing of the, the brush itself. I'll show you when we get there. So, let's do L'Oreal Telescopic Waterproof. just to get my lashes, maybe to keep the curl a little bit longer than it normally would, but also to get some links on them before we put this blue mascara on to, and to give it a base as well. I don't, I don't know how to describe that, but that's... A video if I don't knock something over or throw something. Okay, so this is this is the Wisp mascara. This is in dark blue, but it's really a cobalt blue. But see how wide the bristles are from each other. What that does is it leads to missing eyelashes in the blue application, but also to clumping. So. It's, I'm, I'm struggling to get it on there. Um, I may need to dip another wand into this. Maybe that's what we'll do. Hold on. Let me see if I've got... Hold on. Just you hold on. Okay, so here's what I did. <laughs> this is not working. It's This is the, my problem with this mascara. This is not working. So, went to my empties bin and looked for a mascara wand that I know works. So I pulled the Marc Jacobs Primer Deluxe Sample that I had. It's, uh, it's it's past its prime, but the wand is still good. So I went and washed the wand, like washed it. So what I'm gonna do <laughs> is use this wand in this mascara tube and let's see what we can get. I, I don't, I've never, I don't know, let's see. Because a mascara is two parts. Look at that. It's two parts. It's the formula of the, the goop, but it's also the, the, the wand itself. The formula of this goop is good. <laughs> it's the wand that makes it not usable. But I can fix that little red wagon. I'm looking that way so you can look at that. Let me actually use it on the lower lash line too because why not? And this is a squeezy tube. So I can squeeze the product because this doesn't go down very far, right? Look, it's, it's a deluxe little product. But I can squeeze the product up to where this wand is. Well, it actually oh! <laughs> it screws on it actually screws on tight yes oh my gosh y'all have witnessed genius I don't know if you know that or not but that that's what this was do you want to see what I just did Okay, so this wand is too, look, y'all are crazy. This wand is too spaced out. See that, like how what how spaced out it is? It wasn't getting my lashes. So I was about to like chuck this because I couldn't use it. It's a squeezy tube. So I washed this wand from uh, an older product that, I, that it was in my empties, but look. And it works. No, 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 say, say something about how smart your wife is. <laughs> Good job, honey. Thank you. 
so excited. <laughs> Over some blue mascara. Y'all gonna wear this every day this week. I am so excited. Oh my gosh, this is, I mean, it's such a good formula. They did a great job on that part. Leanne, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I ever doubted you that I would look good with purple lashes. I mean, purple eyebrows, because I do. And y'all, I never do lower lash line, but it's pretty. Let me just put my wand back in my mascara. <laughs> that is not going to be thrown away. This is. <laughs> so, goodbye. And this is going to go back in my empties. It'll just sit. We'll sit it up right. I can't with how good that looks. I cannot. I hope you stayed long enough to see this. I hope anybody's watching this video this long. If you are. Shoot me, shoot me a message down below that you're still here. Look at that. Do I want a line? Let's do a, do I want to line my waterline? I probably do. What crazy color do I want to use? Do I want to use blue or this purple right here? Let's sit right here. Let's just use this purple right here. Oh, I'll probably need to sharpen it. She's a little scratchy. Where's my sharpener? The little sharpener I use is from Essence. It's a dual ended sharpener, which helps me because I have like jumbo pencils sometimes and then regular pencils. So this is like a little, it's just, it's cute because I also can just sharpen without being over the trash can, you know? Like some sharpeners are like open. This one is not. So I, I love this little thing. It's the cutest little thing um, from Essence. There we go. Nothing is going to stop me now. I look amazing. Okay. Last thing we're going to put on our face. Y'all, I look amazing. <laughs> so excited, y'all. Oh, so good. Okay. This is the, the Mr. Mugwump lip color. This is Purple Rain by Black Radiance. And, the, I mean, the bottom color is just stunning. But this, it's such a unique, like, thing. It's, like, supposed to be purple metallic. Here she goes. Well, there, there that is. <laughs> we have come today to circus up this face and we have done so beyond. Look at us. Like, look at us today. Did you have fun? I hope you have fun because I'm having fun. Let's, uh. Let's call our grandmothers and scare the crap out of them. <laughs> there she is, y'all. I swear, this is I'm I beyond beyond surprised that I like the purple brows. You were correct, Leanne, as always. But thank you. I think it looks really cute. It's different for me, obviously. Um, but I I like that. I, it's not bad. Not bad. It's actually good. Uh, Mr. Mugwump did good by choosing pink for the eyeshadow. I think it looks great. But this mascara is the piece de resistance. Like, this is... I am so excited about this mascara. I don't know if you could tell or not. This lip is beautiful. 
It's metallic and purple and beautiful. It is beautiful. Would I wear all three of these things together at one time? Well, yeah, I am today. But in the real world, I would wear this lip with a neutral eye. I wear this eye with a neutral lip. I'm going to wear this mascara every day this week. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. I'm so excited. Thank you guys so much. And gals. And in-betweens. Thank you so much for watching today. I had such a great time. I hope that you did as well. Um, so I'll tell you, we are going to film the, the reorganization. I don't know if you like that or not. I've done one video on my channel where I like, I, it was time lapsed or like sped up and I cleaned my vanity and I, it was just silence and, or music. And I just cleaned my vanity. And so several of y'all like that. It's a different kind of video, but I'm going to, I'm going to set up and film like how we're reorganizing stuff. And then I am going to film, uh, we're going to actually shift the camera. So tell me what you think. Give me your honest feedback and all as we do that today. Um, because you know, I want you to let me know if it bothers you. Let me know if it's great. Um, cause your opinion actually matters like that much to me each of you, but then that's a whole lot when you add it all together. I love you. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you liked me and want to do this circus again, I don't know why, but let's pretend that like you wanted to do it again. You hit subscribe and then all my videos come into your YouTube subscription feed for free. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'm, I love this. Do you love this? I love it. Thank you for watching.